Well, hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time of day it happens to be, wherever you happen to be in the world. My name is Stephanie Scheller. I'm a master sales trainer with Eric Wasselman International and a digital specialist with the largest newspaper multimedia marketing company in San Antonio, Texas. I've been working in sales and digital marketing since I graduated from college and I tend to look at everything through the lens of sales, but I also recognize that to get the chance to have sales, you have to market. And so I started as a sales, um, a sales rep and moved into the position of account manager where I was out helping manage and monitor and keep these marketing campaigns running. I'm in my 20s, so I am the generation that many publishers are trying to connect with. I am the digital uh, generation right now. I have very close friends and family members who are everywhere from you know, 12 years old all the way up through their 50s and 60s. And I get a lot of input and feedback, and I'm always talking to these people about you know, what works with them, particularly because social me- or with social media, because um, while I lean towards digital marketing in general over all other forms of marketing, um, I believe that social media is one of the cheapest and most effective routes to market out there. And when it's done right now or when it's done properly, it'll get you in front of the right audience quicker than any other platform out there. Um, Before I get started real quick, I do want to thank Shrooky Media for giving me the opportunity to talk to you guys. I'm really excited at what's going to come not only out of this talk but out of the series that I'm putting together for you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, I really have two outcomes for this talk. The, the first outcome is that I want to provide you with the basic tools that you need to have sorted out, looked at, in order to drive a successful social media marketing program. These are tools that they're going to seem a little bit basic, a little bit remedial, but I have a lot of people, and if you sit down and really look at your marketing, you may find that one or two of these is missing because I work with a lot of people. I work, I've worked with over 700 businesses. Um, indirectly, I've worked with over 300 businesses directly on their marketing within the past three years. And I've seen a lot, I've talked to a lot, and most of the time these tools have been overlooked to some extent. And the problem is if you want to do social media marketing, you have to know these things. So I want to give you the tools to really make your social media marketing work. And I chose social media marketing as one of my favorite venues to market because um, you know, if you ask anyone, 5, 10, 15 years ago what the greatest form of advertising was, they would without reserve tell you social media or word of mouth really. And I focus on social media because social media is word of mouth on steroids. It is like the big leagues for your marketing. So, and then on top of that, you know, I want to give you these tools, but I also want to give you some tools to stay in the conversation with me because I... For one, I don't believe in set it and forget it. I believe there is way more information out there than I could cram into 15 minutes or even into a series of 15 minutes. And I also believe that the best way to learn is through interaction. So if you're really serious about building up a killer social media marketing campaign, I want to stay in touch with you. I want to be in touch with you so that I can help you build that up. So just as a quick disclaimer for you guys, I am not here to give you the end-all, be-all answers to social media marketing. No one has those. Um, social media in general is just this giant unwieldy monster that no one has really learned how to fully harness yet. Um, whoever figures out how to harness it, they are going to be a multi-billionaire um, very, very quickly because there is so much potential here. So what I'm giving you is tools to help you build um, a great campaign um, And I also want to make sure that you're aware that, you know, social media is not the only, it's not the end-all, be-all to digital marketing. There are lots of options out there. It is a perfect accent, and it's an inexpensive accent to the rest of the options out there, but it is not your one and only marketing campaign. Um, And then most of all, I want to make sure you know, you know, social media is not a set it and forget it. Even when you've got everything that I'm going to give you here set up properly, this isn't something you can set up and leave alone. Um, if you want set it and forget it, go rent a billboard. You can get yourself some, some great results. They'll be limited for the amount of money you're going to spend there, but you won't have to do any extra work. 
Because you see, social media is hard work. It is fun, but it is hard. You are going to spend time on it. I talk to too many business owners who tell me that they do their social media in their spare time. Okay, well, that's fine, but who do you have that is dedicated to doing it then? Because whether or not you're aware of this, social media marketer is a hireable position, and it is worth more than $90,000 a year. It's a killer position, and it is a full-time position to do social media marketing. So you don't have to spend full time on it, but it's not a spare time thing. All right, so without further ado, getting into the most important things you need to know uh, to market through social media marketing. And I will get into some more specific details and and more specific verticals and information in the coming weeks and months, but um, for now I'm going to give some some wider overviews. First thing that you really, you have to, have to, have to know is you need to know your audience. You can't market the same way to you know, the mechanic on the left as you can to the Caucasian dad on the right. You're going to have different platforms they're going to appeal to. You're going to have different, um, different types of language they're going to appeal to. And you can't market to the college student on the left the same way you would market to the grandma on the right. And most of all, you sure can't market to the young teenage girl in the middle the same way you'd market to a dad or a mom. So you have to know who your audience is. And this is, um, you know, I, I get it. This is kind of remedial for some people, but I have, like I said, worked with a lot of people who tell me very generic. Oh, well, my audience is, you know, X or Y. I think the, my favorite answer we ever got, we were asking someone, you know, who's your target audience? And they said, people with no money. And it was funny. <laughs> it was really funny, but that's way too broad. You know, you want to know, social media marketing lets you pinpoint in on who you're trying to get to. So people with no money, you know, as unpolitically correct as this is, you've got to get down to their age, their gender, income, occupation, education, race, nationality, religion. I mean, these are things that you should know to tell you who generally doesn't have any money. Because then you can start marketing to those people using social media. So instead of guessing and saying, well, I think I want to market to X people, you actually know, hey, I want to market to this gender. I want to market mostly to males. I want to market mostly to people who have interests in X, Y, and Z. Um, and I get it. You know, on the one hand, you don't want to rule anybody out by saying, you know, hey, there's always going to be an exception to the rule, I 100% understand. At the same time, there are rules for a reason. There are always exceptions. There are always exceptions. But there are rules for a reason. So while you don't want to, you know, miss out on those potential people, is it really worth throwing $100 or $200 or $1,000 or $2,000? Whatever your budget is, is it really worth throwing it out there in general, kind of throwing it up in the air and hoping the right people will catch it? Wouldn't you rather throw it towards a very concentrated area knowing that those people would catch it and you have a high likelihood of them being uh, turning into target for you? So, for example, um, if you're better homes and gardens, you want to market to women for the most part, from 30 to 75 who have an interest in home care, gardening, decor, and cooking. That, that's the kind of specifics I'm looking for. I'm looking for age. I'm looking for gender or ethnicity or religion or um, family size or income. And then you want to know what kind of interests they should have. But you need to know this kind of information because for any one of you who have done Facebook ads, you know you can get super detailed with what kind of information you're putting in and who you're serving those ads to. So why would you not take advantage of that? Next of all, you need to know your platform. And this slide here, um, you can you know, gape and gawk if you want. I think the first time I saw it, my jaw hit the ground. <laughs> but this is an incredible slide because it shows you just how many social media marketing forums there are out there right now. Literally, there are more than I want to count. Um, you've got everything from discussion to crowd wisdom. You've got blogs and microblogs, social networks such as 
Facebook and Google Plus. You've got, you know, um, trying to find Twitter on here. You've got the business with LinkedIn. You've got Twitter, which is a social stream. Each one of these things is used for something different. So Facebook is more of a listening technique. Twitter is more of a learning technique. So what do you want to target with? How do you want to get that information out there? And what platforms do you want to use? Because while you know, two or three years ago, it might have been good to just have, um, just you know, have a Facebook profile and one or two other profiles. There's one, no way you could get on all of these platforms. And two, there's no need for it. You got to find the two or three, maybe four most important platforms and really work the buzz out of those. Work them, work them, work them, work them, work them, but just work on a few because if you try and do all of them, you're going to shoot yourself. It's that old adage, you know, chase two, two rabbits and both will escape. You've got to pick which ones are going to be the most profitable for you, and you've got to work on those. And in order to do that, you need to know what kind of audience is going to each platform. Facebook is a pretty good one. It's got a huge audience. Um, it is starting to lead more towards the older generation, though. If you're trying to get to high school students, college students, Facebook may not be the one to put all of your energy in. You put some there, but you know, maybe you need to put more energy into, um, into WhatsApp or Snapchat. So when you know your platforms, you, know, you need to know what your platform does for you, what demographics it appeals to, and how to best use it. So first you pick your audience, then you pick your platforms. Pick, maybe I would say at the most pick four platforms to really work hard. Especially if you're not doing this full time, I would say pick two really to work full time, to work hard. All right, and then the next thing you got to know, you need to know the appropriate language to use with your audience. Um, you know, really simply put, don't use slang if you're marketing to adults, and don't be a grammar Nazi if you're trying to appeal to college students. Um, and beyond even just the actual language you're using, languages, as you can see in that lower you know, corner right there, it's more than slang, and I put the little graphic there, but it's more than slang and bad words. It's more than the words you're choosing to convey your message. Your language is everything from what kind of videos you share, what kind of pictures you share, if you use hashtags or if you don't, if you tag people in your photos or if you don't, if you are... Um, you know, your word choice is part of it, but it's not all of it. You're not going to share the same types of pictures if you're Better Homes and Gardens that you would share if you are, you know, a college hangout spot. You have to know what the appropriate language is and what they respond best to because people share what they know on social media. I'll say that again. People share what they know, what they understand. So you have to know what language to be using so that they can understand you. Because if they don't get it, they're not going to share it. And sharing is the best way to get your information out there to more people. Sharing is how you recruit new potential business rather than just, you know, keeping in touch with your old business. Last of all, you have to know your digital marketing message. And more than that, you have to know your social media marketing message. And this applies to all marketing in general. I work with way too many businesses that are doing the scattershot approach. And I have the arrow on here for a reason. The scattershot approach kind of throws out a whole bunch of tiny little pieces and hopes it hits something and kills something. You know, maybe you're going to do a little bit of damage. Maybe you're going to take down a rabbit or a squirrel, or maybe you're going to, you know, hurt the side of the barn, or whatever it is you're trying to do. Maybe you're going to make little indents or little pecks or whatever. You're not going to make a serious impact unless you use something focused and sharp. Because with the right arrow, with the right bow, you can take down a bear. So I use this particular picture of an arrow on purpose, because if you see, it's got the point, and then it's got three prongs. The point would be your message, whatever message you're trying to get across, whether you, are, you have the best customer service, whether you are um, you know, the number one place to go for information on social hangouts in Austin, Texas, 
Whatever you're trying to get across, that's your message. You need to have one message. Because when you have one message for all of your campaigns, all of your marketing campaigns, print, radio, TV, digital, social media, they all need to have one message they're getting across. Those are the successful marketing campaigns. Too many people take, you know, five different really good marketing campaigns and they just throw them out there in hopes that they'll work. Well, if you want to know the trick to making your marketing campaigns work and work really, really well, make them work in concert with each other. Don't pit them against each other. Make them work in concert. Have one message you're driving out there to people. And then with social media, you know, when you, you need to know what your social media marketing campaign is because social media is about listening and responding and learning more than it is about recruiting. So maybe if you are, you know, Frost Bank, who's trying really hard to brand themselves as a, you know, great customer service um, initiative, maybe they're branding themselves as, you know, great service, great good handshakes, whatever their, whatever their little slogan is. And then on social media, they're really driving home the great customer service. They respond to everything. They are interactive. They're sharing jokes and pictures and videos regarding customer service. You know, everything they do lines up with their message. They may share a video, which can be one prong on the board. They may share a post. It could be another prong on the arrow. They may share a picture. It could be another prong on the arrow. They are all going to the same thing. So know what your digital marketing message is. Know what your marketing message is in general. And know what your digital marketing message is. And they can be the same. They do not have to be, but they should fall in line with each other. And know what they are because once you know what they are and you can design your message around that, you're going to have the greatest, the greatest marketing of your life. So I want to thank you guys for taking time to sit down with me. Um, I want to acknowledge everyone who is out there listening to the webinar live on the recording or reading the transcript because that tells me that you are a step above your competitors. You know that you're learning, and you know learning is important. Otherwise, you wouldn't be taking time out for this. But I also want to remind you that there's a difference between learning and learning and being in action. So learn this stuff, but get out there and use it. One of the best ways to hold yourself accountable to use this is get yourself an accountability partner. Find a coach. Find someone who you can sit down with and who will make sure that you are following through with what you're telling yourself to do because we're all busy. It's too easy to just fall off the cart with that. If you want to get together with me, you want to brainstorm some ideas as far as your, um, your social media marketing or you know, anything else, sales or marketing in general, I'd be happy to sit down. You're welcome to get in touch with me. My email address is on the screen there, uh, stephanie.scheller2000 at gmail.com. You're welcome to check out my blogs, connect with me on LinkedIn or Facebook, whatever works for you. But let's stay in the conversation or find someone to stay in the conversation with so that you can reach your fullest marketing potential. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Make this the greatest week of your year.